All right, so in about five days from now, the 40th World Tournament will be starting on Global. So in today's video, I wanna give you guys a quick preview of some of the rewards as well as new units and awakenings we can expect to see. Now, real quick, before we get into it, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Gamersubs. They recently released a freaking dope new waifu shaker called the Ninja, which you can see in the image uh, right over there, I believe and hopefully they're still in stock because they do go very very quickly so if you guys want to pick one up for yourselves or try one of their supplements or pick up some of their shirts sweaters and stuff like that then definitely head down to the link in my description and if you see something you like you can use my discount code tiger for 10 percent off your entire purchase they will be releasing i think at least three more waifu shakers throughout the month of March for their March Madness promotion, so definitely your eyes out for that. And once again, the code is TIGER for 10% off your purchases. Thank you to Gamersubs for sponsoring the channel, as always. And uh, yeah, with all that said, let's get right into it. Now, for this 40th World Tournament, the reward unit will be a new STR Youth Form Baby, who is actually very, very good despite not having a Token Awakening yet. And speaking of Awakenings, uh, this is one that I am personally very excited for. The Int Android 18 is getting an absolutely monstrous uh, token Awakening. You guys will see exactly what I'm talking about a little bit later. She is extremely, extremely good. And on top of that, we're also going to be getting a new summonable AGL Piccolo Jr. on the uh, DB Saga banner. Now, as far as this baby is concerned, if you guys want to be able to rainbow him during his initial tournament, then you want to place in at least the top 5,000 because you'll get three copies there. And of course, you can get an additional copy for getting, let's see, it should be 23 million points. Yeah, 23 million points during the tournament. So if you place in the top 5,000 and then you complete this mission, which obviously you would if you're in the top 5,000, then you'll get the extra four copies to uh, rainbow him. No, hold on. Sorry, I'm wrong about that. I'm wrong about that. You got to place in the top 2,000 to get the four extra copies because in my mind, one copy was guaranteed, which is not true. So you got to get 23 million points for the one copy and then place in the top 2,000, my mistake, to uh, fully rainbow him on his initial tournament. Obviously, in the future, you will be added to the world tournament banner so you can pull copies of him. But if you want the guaranteed rainbowed baby, then yeah, top 2,000, which obviously is a tall order, but it is definitely possible if you just know life it for the weekend. And as you guys know, if you place in the top uh, like 100, you'll be getting a ton of orbs, you're getting a ton of copies of the baby, you're getting a ton of tickets, um, you know, Kai's and just all that good stuff. If it's worth it to you, then obviously go for it. But I think most people are really not willing to put in the time and effort and just, um, I don't know, like it just takes a special person to place in the top 100. But keep in mind that you are still getting some orbs as long as you place in the top 1000, which is a much more realistic goal, I guess, but still not super realistic. And uh, lastly, just for those of you that want the one extra copy, you just need to be in the top 20,000 to get one additional copy of the um, baby from the ranking rewards. And from there, taking a quick look at the uh, local missions or local rewards rather, if you're number one, you get two copies of the Mercenary Tau. And then beyond that, you're getting one copy up to uh, top 150 for Dragon Stones. It's seven stones for first place, three stones for second and third place, and then one stone for fourth to 10th. And once again, this is for your local rankings. And uh, of course you have some win missions for some Dragon Stones, some tickets, and uh, some gravity chambers, you got some tier missions, which is really easy to accomplish. I think for the last tier, all you gotta do is get like 5 million points. So that's a good amount of dragon stones right there. And uh, of course your score missions, as well as your uh, wins in a row. So for the score missions, you can complete them when you get uh, 30 million points, right? And then for the win in a row, it's up to 20 consecutive wins or some uh, stones and Elder Kai and some more tickets and Awakening Medals and stuff like that. So yeah, those are your uh, expected rewards for this tournament. 
um, pretty standard. And overall, if you complete everything, you're looking at around 50 free dragon stones for this tournament. And make sure you also do the daily missions, which give three stones. Or sorry, up to. No, yeah, three stones per day, because this one is only one time, right? The advanced to semifinals. So every single day for getting up to three wins, you also get three additional dragon stones. So definitely make sure to do those. And now let's jump over to the uh, new STR baby, who, like I said, is really good. Despite not having a token awakening yet, he'll eventually get it. And I'm sure that's going to be, you know, insane. But for now... His leader skill is STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and lowers attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% and launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when facing a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy. Of course, there are a lot of those in the game, so you should be able to get this additional boost uh, fairly often and then recovers 20% HP at the end of turn in which attack was received. So a very significant heal right there for taking attacks. And then his links are Thirst for Conquest, Metamorphosis, Coward, GT, Hatred of Saiyans, and Nightmare, and categories are Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Forms, Terrifying Conquerors, Target Goku, Revenge, and Human Deeds, uh, Space Traveling Warriors, and GT Bosses. So this is definitely um, the first usable, I would say, youth form baby not to say this is the first one because i think there is at least one sr out there but you wouldn't really run that one this one is really really solid and if you want to run a uh i don't know gt bosses team uh and someone to link with one of your other babies then this is definitely a good choice i would say so from there let's take a look at this uh, Android 18 Doken Awakening. Once again, she Doken Awakens from this 18, who was a previous World Tournament reward. And she is just uh, really monstrous for what she is, you know, for a free to play World Tournament Awakening. Very, very good. Leader skill, int types key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 80%. Super attack, supreme damage, and raises attack and defense by 30% for 3 turns. And passive is attack and defense plus 100% and then attack and defense plus 80% for three turns after receiving an attack, high chance of evading enemy uh, attacks, including super attacks, and plus an additional attack plus 180% for three turns after evading an attack. Now, of course, these boosts are all calculated separately, so what this means is that she gets attack and defense plus 260% after receiving an attack or attack plus 460% after evading an attack. If both her conditions are met, so she takes a hit and also evades a hit, then she's getting attack plus 620% for the duration, of course, of the boost. So uh, yeah, she hits really hard, guys. And on top of that, she's also getting a very good amount of defense, and uh, she also has the 50% chance to dodge, so that's gonna help with her just overall defensive capabilities. She's also raising attack and defense on her super attack. So, you know, after a couple of supers, she's doing even more damage, getting more defense. Um, just a very impressive World Tournament Awakening, in my opinion. Not the best we've seen, but definitely up there, no doubt. So that is the Int 18. I might be rating her a little bit higher than other people might just because, you know, it's 18. But uh, she's just great, man. The artwork is also phenomenal. I gotta say, but yeah, there you go. That is the Int 18 Doken Awakening. And finally, we have this new AGL Piccolo Jr., who is also pretty impressive for what he is. Uh, and he's gonna be available on the DB Saga ticket banner. Theater skill, AGL types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. Passive attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional Attack and defense plus 100% when facing a turtle school category enemy. Attack plus 200% when performing a super attack and stuns the attack enemy for two turns, starting from the third turn once only. And uh, links are big bad bosses, tough as nails, demonic ways, strength in unity, the incredible adventure and guidance of the Dragon Balls. And categories are world tournament, the Mechians, terrifying conquerors, target Goku, revenge, gifted warriors, entrusted will, worldwide chaos, and battle of fate. Now, for his separate calculations, 
um, things get kind of crazy, and I don't know exactly how this works, but supposedly his additional 200% attack is calculated separately, which is fine. But this somehow gives him a total boost of attack plus 800% when performing a super attack. Um, that just seems really, really crazy. That seems really, really high. So someone has to explain this to me because uh, that's just a huge jump from what you would expect. But, I mean, usually the Dokkan Wiki is not wrong, so... I'm just presenting the information. I'm not going to tell you how they got to 800% attack, but uh, yeah, that's kind of wild. So he should be hitting pretty hard. Like, not crazy numbers, but, you know, for a free-to-play world tournament unit, uh, or not, rather not free-to-play, but like, the tickets at least are free-to-play. So anyways, um, for a world tournament DB Saga banner unit, he should be doing some good numbers offensively, and uh there you have it that is the agl piccolo jr um i love this you guys know i love this int 18 awakening and this uh youth form baby is also really good so that is your preview for the 40th world tournament starting in about five days from now uh, i will probably be streaming this one because it's been a long time and i'm excited for this 18 uh this baby i'm pretty stoked for too because once again he is the first like youth form baby you can actually run in this game so i want to get a couple copies of him if i can so uh, expect streams next weekend um hopefully you guys are stoked for this tournament on global and there is your preview as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.